Hello friends, um, another update because situation is developing so fast and things change so fast that I need to make video after video and this is probably the best update, the best map that we have right now and uh, now we c I can tell you exactly where the original fish was, where it extends, where the lava is moving and what is happening right now. Good news is that the eruption stabilized it uh, the flows reduce it and it's reached its equilibrium. The eruption is decreasing. It's unlikely that it's going to um, expand any further. So this is how the fissure looks right now. You see it started right next to ceiling of Fat Mountain to the east of it. This is the original, this red line here in the middle is the original fissure when it started close to 11 o'clock in the evening and later on it expanded further north, much further north than we earlier thought. You see it's going behind Storas Kogfadl Mountain to the east, pretty close to Fagradalsfjat. This here, this table volcano to the east is Fagradalsfjat volcano that we had volcanic eruptions in this area 2021-23. In fact, Geldengadalur Korn is not that far, it's just across here to the right. So it's uh, like 3-4 kilometers from Gelengadalur actually, not that far. And lava is expanding towards Fagradalsfjat here to the, to the east and also to the west and to the north. And the, the current fissure extends from just behind Toroskogfat to the north and is going all the way here close to Hagafat. Um, to the south. This is a Grindavik greenhouse here north of Grindavik. So actually the situation for Grindavik is better than previously thought. Uh, the fish is further north than uh, we, it was first reported. It was first reports from the volcano where the eruption started at Hangafet Mountain. That's Nobody knew exactly if it's south or north of it. Hangafat was very close to Grindavik and it was a consent, but it appeared that it actually started much further north, actually. You see next to Silingafat Life Camp. And then the fissures expanded more to the north than to the south. It's also expanded close to the south. And there is, of course, a chance that it might expand here between Hangafat and mid highest Mountain here in this valley. And if lava goes this way, which is very likely lava might go this way, it uh, does not really, it probably will go to the east of the Grindavik to the ocean, but it's a huge amount of lava and uh, uh, it's uh, several times more lava than in previous eruptions and much more gases and pollution. The fish is of course much bigger too. And, um, the, it might be a powerful eruption that might last also for many weeks and uh, but most likely lava will be flooding all those areas here towards Fagradalsfjall to, to the east but there is elevation here the more you come closer to Fagradalsfjall there is more elevation and like Thorvald Tordrason told it's uh, there is a limit where uh, how much lava can come here sooner or later it might go start going here into this um, passage towards Grindavik to the south. There is a chance. Now there is a lot of fans all around here at the power plant, Blue Lagoon, the heating supply pipes and Grindavik Road all is here. And uh, this is the fissure at 3 o'clock in the morning. This is how big it is. It's about 4 kilometers long, 4 or 5 kilometers long, but situation stabilizes. The lava um, is there are no more fissures um, forming up. It's kind of Volcano starting to slow down uh, now by the morning is a good news. That's how it starts. It starts big and then it starts slowing down. It was the same thing at Little Router back in July. Uh, now we finally got some commands from the most renowned Icelandic volcanologist Torvald Tordarsson. Well, uh, now on the night at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, he says, This is a different creature than we have seen in Fagradal's Fiat about the eruption and Sunnuka crater series that began at 11 o'clock this evening. This is the largest eruption that took place on Reykjanes Peninsula uh, since 2019 when we had volcano erupting in Gelingadalur. Uh, 
Now what he says about 200 cubic meters of magma coming every second and the force of the eruption is about to 10 to 20 times greater than back in 2021. The emission of sulfur dioxide is 10 times greater per unit in time than in the last three eruptions, or about 30 to 60,000 tons per day. Luckily, the wind direction is favorable, as you know. The wind is blowing from the north to the southwest onto Grindelwald again onto the ocean. So it's okay to be on the highway. This is more or less blowing out to the sea. Now they reopen at the airport. Uh, the planes are landing at night uh, from Lisbon and Madrid. And more planes to land tomorrow and depart as well. There's no, much, not much ash coming into the air. And uh, lava flows uh, from the fissure both north and the east. However, the lava can flow very far to the east as the land begins to rise not far away it is then quite likely that the lava will flow will bend to the south or towards Grindavik. Uh, there are also important infrastructures north of the eruption that could be in danger if the eruption continues for a long time airport highway uh, he's quite optimistic that uh, the dikes um, will uh, hold but points out that uh, uh, I mean the the lava walls the lava berms that have been constructed they will hold but points out that they should not stop uh, that should not stop the lava flow but directly but direct it into another direction they he hopes that they will simply redirect the lava flow uh, but he would like to see the lava berm in front of about Grindavik, what they haven't done. They protected the business infrastructure, basically the power plant um, and, the, and the Blue Lagoon, but not really the civilian infrastructure, private homes to the south. This is the situation right now. And now the news came out uh, on uh, Icelandic morning news report at 10 minutes past 3 in the morning. Uh, 10 times more pollution, the lava could travel kilometers per hour. The emission of sulfur dioxide from the new volcanic eruption of Reykjanes Peninsula is about 10 times more than in previous volcanic eruptions uh, back in 2021, summer 23. The crack is about 4 kilometers, now they say it's about 4 kilometers, and runs from the northern slopes of Hagafet. In fact, now it's from Sunnukagiur crater to the north of uh, Storaskoga Fat and further northeast. So it's actually further north than uh, every report uh, says from the beginning, then eruption moves further north and north. So now lava travels about one kilometer per one kilometer per hour. And uh, it is estimated that the volcano is emitting about 30 to 60,000 tons of sulfur dioxide poisonous gas per day. So, and the wind direction is northwesterly, and according to the forecast, it should be northerly for the next few days. So, it's good news that it's blowing south to the ocean where. There is no body. The wind should keep, therefore, most of the gas pollution away from the build-up bubbles. It's the good news. Anyway, we will keep you updated on what is going on.